Okay. We are challenged with extremism. We don't know how to handle it. In the moment, if there's an act of extremism happening, what can you concretely do? How we can increase the resilience in our societies, how we can build something that challenge and that, that respond to the risk and threat of extremism in our societies, because we want to, to present, to offer something proactive and not reactive. تطرف تطور بشكل كتير كبير بالمنطقة وكان الصعب شوي علينا نفهم كيف وصلنا لهون لهي المرحلة اللي فيها كتير من التحديات وعم نواجه فيها كتير من الأشياء. We have talked about extremism and now what we have to do to say all this like fluffy talking stuff it has to become a concrete tool today. The target group of the tool is people around the world who would like to fight extremism together with you. What is the main reason behind extremism? Is it, is it religion? Is it ideologies, theologies? Or is it politics? Is it the economical, socio-economical factors? Is it the personal pathway, the life story? extremism, which is, we'll just call it non-religious extremism. We should face violence with non-violence, but the days that will follow will be very challenging. You are uh, fully uh, convinced that yes, we want to do something. We have enough resources in education or in politics or in media or in religion to create something collectively together on this. We also need perhaps a mayor or political leader to open that. We need these key figures and that's what we can do here. If we look at the faces, we can have a mapping. LIO saved me a lot in the understanding of my understanding. It helped me even to think about the solution. It's something innovative, something more intelligent. لأن أنت الناحية الثانية أنت عندك جهات متطرفة جهات راديكالية بيعرفوا إزاي يجذبوا الشباب بشكل معين فأنت لازم تبي مور إنتليجنت عشان تقدر تتعامل أو تواجه الإكستريم. Why do we have to put it? I teach at the University of Copenhagen and most of the time teaching can be very abstract, very academic and coming here being very concrete has helped me to put stories and faces and examples to my teaching back home. So for me, the most important thing to come out of the LIU program has been the, uh, the relationships, the network. I think that's where the true strength of this is. The aim of the two is to make the youth evaluate the ideas, movement, ideologies, uh, that they meet in universities or with groups and we want this tool to help them evaluate if these ideas are sound uh, and we also want to make the leaders of religion aware of their influence on the youth so how are they working with them we have such a vast experience and group of people that could be uh, something to, uh, to build and expand we need to retool journalism for the challenge uh, or the coverage of uh, extremism and the aim is um, to make sure that there's a capacity building through education and network for the journalists who cover this area. Our purpose is to create a platform or a safe space where marginalized people can interact and have a personal meeting with each other and with decision makers. I think the importance of the LIU program is that it created a platform for peace builders. And these peace builders have a noble issues that counter extremism. We strive for diversity, for tolerance, for accepting of the other. 
we had the knowledge, and then we succeeded to empower the skills, and now it's time for attitudes and take real actions in life. The LU program has succeeded when others failed because he initiated to, to bring catalysts for changes. We may or may not see the results and the influence of what we are doing. I believe that wherever I am present, I just have to throw the seed, plant it, then I'm sure it will grow. So just plant the seed. Thank you. Thank you very much.